Section 15 of Library of the World's Best Mystery and Detective Stories, Volume 6. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Library of the World's Best Mystery and Detective Stories, Volume 6, by Julian Hawthorne, Editor. Section 15. The Melancholist and the Sharper from the Arabic. There was once a Richard Hight Ajlan, the hasty, who wasted his wealth, and concern and chagrin got the bastery of him, so that he became a melancholist and lost his wit. There remained with him of his monies about twenty dinars, and he used to beg alms of the folk, and whatso they gave him in charity, he would gather together and add to the gold pieces that were left him. Now there was in that town a sharper, who made his living by roguery, and he knew that the melancholist had somewhat of money. So he fell to spying upon him, and ceased not watching him till he saw him put into an earthen pot that which he had with him of silvers, and enter a deserted ruin, where he sat down, and straightway began to dig a hole, wherein he laid the pot, and covering it up smoothed the ground as it had been. Then he went away, and the sharper came, and taking what was in the pot restored it to its former place. Presently Ajlan returned, with somewhat to add to his hoard, but found it not. So he bethought him of who had followed him, and remembered that he had found that sharper, assiduous in sitting with him and questioning him. So he went in search of him, assured that he had taken the pot, and gave not over looking for him till he saw him sitting, whereupon he went to him and the sharper saw him. Then the melancholist stood within earshot and muttered to himself and said, In the pot are sixty ducats, and I have with me the other twenty in such a place, and today I will unite the whole in the pot. When the sharper heard him say this to himself, muttering and mumbling, repeating and blundering in his speech, he repented him of having taken the sequins and said, He will presently return to the pot and find it empty. Wherefore that which I am on the lookout will escape me, and meseemeth for best I replace the dinars, so he may see them and leave all which is with him in the pot, and I can take the whole. Now he feared to return to the pot at once, lest the melancholist should follow him to the place and find nothing, and on this wise his arrangements be marred. So he said to him, O oh, Ejlan, I would have thee come to my lodging and eat bread with me. Therefore the melancholist went with him to his quarters, and he seated him there, and going to the market sold somewhat of his clothes, and pawned somewhat from his house, and bought the best of food. Then he betook himself to the ruin, and replacing the money in the pot, buried it again, after which he returned to his lodging and gave the melancholist to eat and drink, and they went out together. The sharper walked away and hid himself, lest his guests should see him, while Ejlan repaired to his hiding place and took the pot. Presently the sharper returned to the ruin, rejoicing in that which he deemed he should get, and dug in the place, but found naught, and knew that the melancholist had outwitted him. So he began buffeting his face for regret, and fell to following the other, whither so he went, to the intent that he might win what was with him, but he failed in this, because the melancholist knew what was in his mind, and was assured that he spied upon him. So he kept watch over himself. Now, had the sharper considered the consequences of haste, and that which is begotten of loss therefrom, he had not done on such wise. End of section 15